Hey -o, boss, and welcome back. It's the middle of summer, which means it's carnival time. And when the carnivals come to town, so do the almighty funnel cakes. Chef has a great recipe on how to show you to make these beautiful golden crispy funnel cakes. Now, if you're like me and you think they're difficult, they're actually not. And Chef has kind of taken his time in making this because he wasn't sure if he could do it. So he's been kind of holding out on us. But it's very simple. And with a couple key ingredients and some fry time, you can make your own funnel cakes for cheap and then sell them to your friends for a lot of money. So come on everyone, let's get the carny in you out and get cooking. In a medium sized bowl, you're gonna start off with some all purpose flour. Add some sugar and salt. And all the ingredients will be listed down below. Some baking powder and then mix this together. Place it aside and in a large bowl, go ahead and crack two eggs and then mix those together. The chef can still crack those eggs with one hand because he thinks he's cool. Add some whole milk and then go ahead and whisk these together. Now, next up, you're gonna start adding your dry ingredients to the wet but well, you're gonna do it very slowly. So just a little bit at a time, and then start whisking. You're gonna to start to form a nice thick-like batter, but not too thick. Almost like a pancake kind of batter, just like so. All right, now here's your batter. You can place it aside for a little bit just to rest. And of course everyone knows the funnel cake was from the funnel. You kind of use your funnel to pour the batter in. However, if you put a funnel inside a squeeze tube, squeeze tube like so, you can buy at the store, we're gonna show you why. You're gonna cut the tip of the squeeze tube off about halfway down, and then you're gonna put the funnel in and you're gonna add the batter to the squeeze tube. And Chef has a couple of these squeeze tubes for oil and different things like that. Okay, so let's get the oil going. Cast iron skillet, we don't need too much oil, maybe about halfway up. Get that to 375 degrees. Now, with that squeeze tube, you're just gonna squeeze your funnel mix batter in and just do a circle-like formation. Just go around, clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever your preference, just like so. The batter will come to the middle. And then you're just gonna kinda let this hang out for a couple minutes. You can check it with a fork or a spider to make sure it's golden brown. After several minutes, you're just going to give it a quick little toss, and Chef recommends using two utensils so you don't splatter oil. Ooh, look at that golden brown. Several more minutes, and then you're going to go ahead and take this out. All right, here's another one Chef did. Nice and golden brown, has that nice formation. You can make them bigger or smaller. It's totally up to you. So for our first one, Chef's gonna do the classic powdered sugar. So he's just gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar. And when this comes right out of the, the oil, that powdered sugar is gonna just adhere and kind of melt right in. It's gonna be beautiful. For the second one, we're gonna do an a la mode. A little bit of vanilla ice cream and, some, and a little bit of chocolate sauce right on top. And then here's our final result. Here they both are. And they were delicious. The classic or the chocolate a la mode. It's up to you. You can do berries. You can do whatever you really want. But as you can see, this was not difficult. And using that uh, tool to kind of squirt the batter in the pan made it so simple. So we really hope you liked this video. We do hope you try it out. These tasted just like the carnival. And it was like a third of the cost, so not bad. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Check out some of our other videos. And don't forget, everyone, cooking should be fun. Have fun doing it.